Lagos State University Department of Public Administration held its annual leadership training program which focuses on issues affecting the nation's development. Speakers at the event emphasized on the importance of good leadership for sustainable growth of the nation. Our correspondent Susan Wodo has details in this report presented from our studios. Leaders play a significant role in a society. They are the pillars to the growth of any society. Therefore, the need for good leadership and governance for the growth of a nation cannot be overemphasized. These leadership training programs themed challenges of leadership and national development in Nigeria was organized by the Department of Public Administration, Lagos State University. The event hosted master's students of the department academic staff and various coordinators and dignitaries from the Jandor Foundation. The Dean of Faculty of Management Sciences spoke on the need for Nigerians to change their orientation and work together for the nation's leaders to achieve sustainable development in the country. We just have to agree that right here in Nigeria we are having a big problem of leadership. But today's lecture has proved that while we are claiming that we have a leadership problem, we also have followership problem. And we have seen clearly, leadership problem is not the only way, it's not the only problem we have. We also have issue that has to do with the followership. There is need for Nigerians to change our orientation, our culture, if we want to move forward. National development cannot come by relying on only the leaders. We, we together, we have to force our leaders to do the right thing. The founder and chairman of Jandor Foundation and Core TV News, who was the guest speaker at the event, focused on the education content in schools. He said there is a need for schools to invite practical experiences into the curriculum of schools at all levels. I think if um, a university environment from time to time put this together, um, it's a way a long way in preparing um, upcoming leaders for for the challenge you know that, that, that they stand to, to face uh, because some of the things that we have today is we we base everything on on, on theory um, while in school there are no practical experience and like I said in my in my lecture I, I thinking of a situation whereby from time to time we can bring this student out to have a feel of what is happening in the real world uh, because as an employer of labor we've noticed that many of the um, graduates that will turn out today we, we still struggle with them to see how they can fit in into the present system and, and the reason is not perfect is because i think our government um, the moment they build the block work um, they say they've given education to 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 that school and that that shouldn't be content is the most important thing um, where I'm not saying there shouldn't be infrastructure, of course, but if the content is right, even if you teach people under the tree, uh, they will understand what it is. The central coordinator of Jandor Foundation further commended the organizers for the timing of the event. She said the need for good governance and leadership that will provide socio-economic support to the people and the nation at large is of fundamental importance for a nation like Nigeria. This leadership, according to her, is what the founder and chairman of the foundation personifies. Particularly, this is very timely because we understand that the bedrock for good governance is to have good leaders who have the real intent of the people that are, they, are, they are governing. So it is important that we have the right leaders because that is what will cascade to the followers. And that would what will bring about the best changes that we want in Nigeria, in Lagos State in particular. So the, the lecture is very timely because what we need in Nigeria to move forward is to have good leaders. is to be able to ensure that the governance connects to the grassroots and they provide the socio-economic political support and put a structure in place that would ensure that every citizenry would be beneficiary of good governance. The university further said it will continue to contribute to the discourse that will aid the economic growth and development 
of the country. Thank you very much, sir, for this. Um, I'd like to dedicate this to all students of Labour State University.